Folks, here's a simple video on how to tie a mop fly. It's hands down the fly that I use the most. I actually don't use many other flies. I have such good luck with the mop fly. Uh, Yvonne Chouinard, the guy that founded Patagonia, he said if he had to use only one fly, he'd use uh, a woolly booger actually. And um, a mop fly is kind of like a woolly booger. So I'll show you how to tie it real quick. So I've got a bead and a hook. Turn the tag off. Got my little finger mop here. Sometimes it helps to maybe loosen the fibers a little bit. Lay it on top. A couple wraps. I need to kind of roll it over the top there. do a whip finish if you have a little whip finish tool you know how to use this or if you don't have that tool you can just take and make a loop and put it over the over the head and maybe do two of those come on very simple very effective fly trim your excess we're good to go. Okay, so a couple thoughts on tying flies if you've never done it before. Uh, you don't have to have a whole lot of stuff. Uh, to tie a mop fly, you need the little mop pieces. This is like a sponge I got at O'Reilly's or Walmart. Um, and you can see I cut them, these off and I've tied a, a lot of mop flies with this. You need some hooks, probably slotted tungsten beads or what, or what I like. This is called a bobbin. This is how you do the thread. Some little scissors. And if you want a uh, thing for whip finishing is handy too. So, but you know, with just a few pieces, you can get started tying some flies fairly easily. This is just a cheap vise I use. It's clamped onto this little ledge. This is my fly tying box. I kind of keep all my stuff in there. I can just kind of whip it out and tie some flies when I need it. Lastly, I'll say that you want to fish the mop fly pretty deep. Uh, if you're getting snagged on the bottom every now and then, that's a good thing. Hey folks, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.